Hi and welcome to another HTML5 and CSS tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add a basic parallax effect to your web page. So a parallax effect is basically where you have different layers on top of each other on your page and um, different layers can show up at different speeds when you scroll down or up the page and they can reveal different things at different times. So as I scroll, this is just a demo here that I've got. As I scroll, I've actually got a few layers here. I've got this div with text on top here. Then I have two uh, parallax layers, and then I have just a background, um, just the body page with the background Im image, the body section of the page with the background image. So as I scroll, you can see that there's these different backgrounds and they're moving at different speeds. So I've got this um, div here with a background, and then this div here, which moves a bit faster. So there's a few different layers there that um, scroll at different speeds, and you can do all sorts of things with parallax effects. So it's very popular at the moment with websites. Um, Disney came up with the parallax effect in cartoons and animation, um, but it's now widely being used in a lot of websites. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to add a parallax effect. So I'm just going to close that. And this is the page that we'll be working on. So I have just an index.html file. I've set up the head section with a title. Um, and then I've got the body tags there and the opening and closing HTML tags. Oops, I don't actually have the opening HTML tag. Just add that there. Okay, so what I'm going to do firstly is set up three divs. So I have two parallax layers with different backgrounds on them. And then I have another layer that's right on top, which is the content layer and has all of the text on it. So what I'll do in the body section of the web page is add three divs and give them an ID each. So first one will be called parallax layer one. Okay. And there'll be nothing inside it. So you can close off that div tag. And then the second div will have an ID of parallax layer two. And then again, close off that div tag. All right, and then thirdly, we'll have the content layer where all of the text on top and any images or anything you might want to add to the content of your page can go there. All right, so that's what we'll start with. All right, now actually I don't need to close off that div yet because I'm going to put some stuff inside that div. So we need some content to show on the page. So what I'll do is in this content layer div, I'll just add a heading, parallax effect. And just so that we can actually scroll down the page, we need to have some content in there that um, will take up room on the page so we can scroll. So I'll just add some text. And I'll just um, repeat that text a few times. Just copy and paste it. Just like that. And close off the paragraph tag. And then what I'll do is I'll copy that paragraph and paste that quite a few times just so that there's some content to scroll down on. So I'll just, I'm just copying and pasting this paragraph a few times. Um, okay, so that might be enough for now. <laughs> All right, so I've got that content layer div, contact layer div there full of actual content. So now if we refresh the page, that's what it will look like. So there's some stuff there that we can scroll with. All right, so you can put whatever content you want in there, but make sure there's something that allows you to be able to scroll up and down the page. All right, now what we'll do is add some CSS code in the head section. All right, so make some room in the head section and add the style tags. And then inside the style tags, we need to add some style information. So we'll actually just put style type equals text slash CSS, because that's what we'll be putting in here, some CSS code. Firstly, we'll apply um, a style to the body. So we'll set the margin to zero pixels and the background 
Well, I have some background images I'm going to use. So um, I've got uh, this background image here, which I'll use. And then I've got these two other background images for the um, parallax divs. Okay, different color gradients there. All right, so I need to set the background to this image here, which is background.png. So what I'll do is say background URL, background.png. So that image is in the same folder. And then I'll say fixed. Okay, so the background will stay in the same position. All right, then under that, we'll add a, um, th a style to the parallax layer one div. So we'll say parallax, hashtag parallax layer one and apply a style to that ID. So let's say position fixed background URL and this time it's going to be parallax.png. So this one here, so parallax.png, I'll say no repeat, zero pixels and then um, 300 pixels. So what this is, is an offset from the left side and an offset from the top. So we want this background layer to be 300 pixels from the top of the page. Okay, then we can just add width 100% and height set to 800 pixels. Okay, and then um, two more divs to work with. So parallax layer two, I'll do the same sort of thing, position, fixed, and then we'll use the background image for this one, which is parallax2.png. So we'll put that image in there. And then we'll say no repeat. So we don't have a tiling or repeating background there. Zero pixels offset from the left and 500 pixels this time offset from the top. Okay, so this one will be 200 pixels below the first parallax layer to start with. Okay, then what we'll do is also say with 100% and height, this time it will be a bit bigger, we'll make it a thousand pixels. Okay, and the last one is the content layer. So we'll add a style to that div ID. We'll say color. I'm gonna make the text a pink color. So we'll say, use the uh, color code for that, which is F nine A seven B zero. All right, background color. I want to set to black. Um, but what we'll do is add some opacity. I'll make that 0 0.5 so that it's um, opaque or see-through. Okay. Uh, then we'll say font family. We'll use a sans serif font for this. So it'll look a little bit, um, a little bit better considering there's going to be so much going on with the different layers. So we'll use a sans serif font for the text. Uh, position is set to absolute. And then we'll add some padding around the text inside that div. So. 10 pixels, 10 pixels, 10 pixels. So 10 pixels for the top, right and bottom, and then 30 pixels for the left side, okay? Last two things, set the width to 40%, and um, we'll move this div to the right side of the page. So it's taking up 40% of the width, and it's zero pixels from the right, okay? And we can save that. So if we refresh the page, this is what it looks like so far. So we've got um, we've got this div here on top, which is the content layer, and that's just got some text on there, which is pink, but the div also has some opacity applied, so we can kind of see through to the other layers behind it. And then we have, um, behind that, we have two parallax layers, so parallax layer one and parallax layer two, and then we have the um, body behind it with the background image. Okay, so now what we need to do is add some JavaScript code to actually get these parallax layers to move when we scroll the page. Okay, so what we'll do is go back to the code and below the style tags, we'll add a script 
tag and then close the script tag. And inside these script tags, we'll add some JavaScript. So to start with, we want to run a function when um, the user scrolls down the page. So what we can do is say, uh, we'll just add a comment here. So add an event listener, which will detect scrolling and run the parallax function. Okay, so we'll say window dot add event listener scroll. All right, so the event is scroll. So when the user scrolls, the, um, the function called parallax will be called and that will run. Okay, but we haven't actually made this function yet, the parallax function. So we'll do that up here at the top of the script section. So say function parallax open close bracket and then two curly brackets and inside this function inside the curly bracket we need to do a few things firstly we need to create a variable which um, has uh, parallax layer one and then we need to create a variable for parallax layer two so I'll say var for variable parallax layer one equals document dot get element by ID and what we'll do is we'll grab the parallax layer one element by its ID so that div will grab by its ID which is parallax layer one in quotation marks okay so we're getting that element or that div by its ID and then putting it into this variable called parallax layer one so that we can use it in the JavaScript code. Basically, you can copy that line and then paste it below and just change it from parallax layer one to parallax layer two. And you can go and have as many parallax layers as you want, as long as you've got divs for those layers. But um, we'll just have two layers in this tutorial. Okay, then what we need to do is add parallax layer one dot style dot top equal to minus and in brackets window dot page y offset okay plus or append to that pixels so plus px okay so what this will do is basically um, and we can test this out in just a second. But what this what we're saying here is parallax layer one dot style dot top equals minus window dot page y offset plus pixels. So what it will do is it will start moving this um, parallax layer one div up, and um, it will move it up as we scroll. So if we refresh the page, this div here. So just go back to the top of the page. This div here is parallax layer one. And as we scroll, it scrolls as well. So it scrolls at the same speed or it moves at the same speed as I am scrolling the mouse or scrolling the page. Okay. So it's moving at the same speed. So if we want to make it slower, then we can maybe divide it by two. So it'll move at half the speed as I scroll. So now as I'm scrolling, it's scrolling as well, but at half the speed. So you can see this div here scrolls at full speed, but the parallax layer one is a little bit slower. So you can see how this text here on this content layer is overtaking the parallax layer behind it, which is moving at half the speed. All right, we could divide it by four, refresh, and it'll be even slower. So it moves really slow now compared to the other layer. All right, but I'll leave that as two. What you could do is if you got rid of the minus there, refresh the page, it would scroll in the opposite direction like that. Okay, so adding the minus there makes it scroll up and taking the minus away makes it scroll down. Okay, so that's all we need to do there. And then what we'll do is copy and paste that for parallax layer two. So we'll change this to two. 
and um, we'll make this scroll a little bit slower than parallax layer one. So I might divide it by six instead. Okay. Now if we go save that, refresh the page, now we get that parallax layer effect. So we've got both, both parallax layers moving. This top one here, parallax layer one is moving um, fast and the one behind it, parallax layer two is moving a bit slower. Or actually the one in front of it. So we've got content layer moving at the same speed as the user scrolls, parallax layer one moving at half the speed and then parallax layer two moving even slower. All right, so you could try um, working with more parallax layers, have more divs in there, add more layers and try out different speeds and then also try out um, the layers moving in different directions. Okay, and rather than just simple backgrounds like this, maybe you can have different images that show up next to the content that it's um, related to at different um, positions on the page where you scroll. All right, so there's lots of things you can do with the parallax effect, but that, that's a basic um, parallax effect with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Thanks for watching.